back to my channel for another reading today we're going to be looking into your weekend love reading what you can expect this weekend in your love life if you're interested I am now offering appointment based readings that you can book via my website birth chart readings or tarot readings the tarot readings come with transit predictions as well um, so if you're interested check out my link down below and you can find time in my schedule um, otherwise if you're interested in taking part in my moon magic circle learning a little bit about candle magic and joining in on live streams for moon circles um, the next one's going to be the leo new moon it's a one-time fee and you get into six months of um magic and things like that the price is probably going to go up because i'm going to add in one of my special spells um but let's dive into this reading song i got on shuffle was sleep like a baby tonight by you two here's the thing i never added that to my playlist so i don't really know that song but i know it says like i'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight something happening for you this weekend that i feel like is going to put you at ease um and you will be sleeping like a baby so let's see what's going on let's pull some oracle cards what you what can you expect this weekend in your love life we have peace harmony and contentment so like i said there's something happening that it's going to really make you feel at ease we have joy your inner child is here to play okay hard work commitment and perseverance so there's something that i feel like either you've been working towards that you're gonna look we have let go relax and release there's something that like you're gonna like you're gonna you've been working towards it and there's like I feel like you're going to tackle something or overcome something and it's like you know when you like work really hard towards something and it's over and you're like oh my god I can finally like sleep and rest and have fun again that's what this weekend feels like so um let's pull some monology cards and see what can you expect in your love life this weekend show the world the real you full moon in aquarius i feel like you either get something off your chest or it's like it, it is kind of like this taking a mask off it's like oh uh, okay show the world the real you i put in all this work we have luck is on your side one more and then we have be bold and make the first move um i feel like there's something you get off your chest there's something you do um there's something that you get through it feels like you're gonna feel like just relieved like some kind of relief after this weekend I'm specifically hearing after this weekend so it could be that like something happens this weekend like I just did it I went for it it worked out for me like be bold make the first move ah <sighs> now I can sleep again finally um let's see what is this weekend love reading please happening this weekend in your love life we have Neptune sacrifice let's go another we have Black Moon Lilith, Mystery, and Mars Force. So it definitely feels like there is some kind of action being taken here. Um, Gemini, I think. So it could be like you've been thinking about this, but you have to communicate it. I feel like with the Neptune Sacrifice and Black Moon Lilith Mystery, it's like whatever this is, I feel like, like you've had to sacrifice something for it. Um... God, the only way I can like, I, I like to use like analogies so that I can like capture the feeling that I feel. It's like if you were on a, if you were like trying to reach a goal, say like body wise, and you've been um, like, I wanna hit this by this time, so I'm gonna cut out sugar from my diet, you know? And then you hit it and you're like, oh, I did it. I don't know, it feels like um, I did something and 
I didn't know what the results were gonna be, but I did it and I feel relieved, you know? I don't think it has to do with dieting unless that resonates with you, but I do think it has to do with something that you've, you've like sacrificed. Um, there's been some kind of sacrifice here. Like you've been working towards something. This weekend it's gonna be a relief. I don't know if this has to do with love, but let's see what's happening for you this weekend in your love life. What's happening for you this weekend in your love life? We have the Four of Crystals. Um, what's happening for you this weekend in your love life? We have the Four of Swords, okay? So, what's happening for you this weekend in your love life? We have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like maybe this weekend you're not really active in love because like I said, you're working towards some kind of goal. You're working towards some kind of goal this weekend um you're working towards some kind of goal what is this the three of cups this could be like a creative project this could be like a celebration that's getting ready to happen so you're kind of like i'm gonna lay low here what's happening for you this weekend what's gonna put you at ease this weekend the perspective, the hangman, I feel like you gain some kind of perspective or clarity on what? There's something that you're gaining perspective and clarity on. The Page of Cups, I think maybe somebody else's feelings. It's like maybe you've been holding back on communicating from somebody with somebody and it's like that you're going to be kind of rewarded for that. What is it that you're going to be gaining clarity on? The Hierophant. Okay. Gaining clarity on. And the Ten of Pentacles. Whoa. Um, so I feel like this could definitely be like you holding your energy back, you working on you, you working on finding your joy and your happiness. Um, I feel like there is something coming towards you, some kind of message that's coming towards you. Now, regardless of if this is romantic or not, with the Hierophant here and the Ten of um, Pentacles, it does feel like there's some kind of like reward on its way to you. So the Hierophant could be like, you know, it could talk about commitment but it also like, like it doesn't have to be commitment to a relationship. It could be commitment to something that we're working towards. And with the 10 of pentacles here, I feel like it's achieved. There's some kind of achievement happening for you. And it feels like you're getting notification of this. Um, like I held out, I pushed through. The road was long, the road was tough but it ultimately I got what I want. What is this? What is this that is coming through here? The Ace of Crystals, yeah. This is like the offer, the opportunity. It feels very tangible. The Page of Crystals, whoa, okay. Give me another. We have the Awakening, the Judgment card. Um, it's like the ball's in your court here. With this judgment card, the ball's in your court. There's gonna be some kind of, like this is the awakening card, right? There's gonna be some kind of moment where it's like, <sighs> like I just feel like this wave of relief, like, oh my gosh, I knew it. I knew it was coming, it's here. I can relax, I can be at ease. The, I like I worked my ass off for this I'm just hearing like something about like I worked my ass off for this and it's like not only is it worth it but it's like above and beyond worth it I feel like some of you do something where you've been negotiating something you've been in like some kind of negotiation here and you've been like reaching for this goal and you're about to hit it I feel like it has to do with like either monetary stuff 
For some of you, maybe you've been waiting on somebody to offer you some kind of like long-term commitment or stability. Some of you have been like negotiating back and forth about a home though, like a home that you want. Um, and then it's like, yeah, it falls in your court because it's like you get to decide like, okay, yes, I'm going to take this. But it's been like mm, a lot of back and forth. And this could be it could be a relationship okay it's been a lot of back and forth where it's like um negotiations you know and it's been like okay i still don't feel like that offer is good enough like you know okay so what does this have to do with the king of pentacles lots of pentacles here my friends the four of wands The Emperor. I feel like this is, it just feels like a negotiation. The Star card. It feels like a negotiation and the Eight of Pentacles. It feels like this has to do a lot with work, okay? Um, because with the King of Crystals, like, who are you dealing with? Um, this feels like a sort of like a boss energy or somebody who's like really set in their ways. And it's been a lot of like haggling. This could be a relationship still, okay? So take it however it resonates. Um, if it is a relationship, man, this person is, operates from like their comfort zone, their stability. This could be a very like strong Taurus energy because this person has no budge. We got the emperor here, the star card. Like this person sees your potential not only the, your potential, they see your benefit. And this is what gives me the vibe of like, you know, business stuff. If you've been negotiating or even in a relationship, it's like, I see your value, especially with this star card. Who are you dealing with? Who are you dealing with? Who is this negotiation happening with? The Ten of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, this is, you've been like standing your ground here. You've been standing your ground. It's like, you think I won't walk, I will walk. And this Ten of Cups here, it's like, I'm good. I'm emotionally fulfilled. The Ace of Wands. Um, Queen of Swords, it's like, I'm not accepting less. I can go manifest something better. So I'm not accepting less here. So what is this message that comes through? What is this message that's coming through? Like, how is this playing out, this situation? Five of Cups. Six of Swords. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, let's negotiate. This, I feel like you've been sitting in this energy of like, you walked. Like, there's something that you walked from. You were like, I'm not, this isn't, you know, that's the sacrifice here. It's like, I'm willing to walk and I'm actually going to walk. Like, I'm going to move on. Um, and then it comes in this feeling of like, how can we work together? How can we work together here? Because I feel like there's, there's been this feeling of like you moving on, but at the same time being like, was this the right thing, you know? And then it's like that breaks, okay? Cause it's like, there's this little like game of chicken happening right now. So don't, yeah, five of crystals, the page of swords. Um, the hole that you left, is is um noticeable okay so if this has to do with work if it has to do with um a relationship your absence is is noticeable okay um and that's what's provoking this person to take some kind of action here temperance yeah i feel like this is playing like patience it feels like a very serious conversation, which is why I almost feel like it doesn't have to do with love, but you know, some of you might be dealing with somebody who's like really logical and calculated. 
Um, but for some of you, I feel like this has to do with work or business where you're kind of like, you can't really focus on anything else until you kind of get this resolved, you know? So let's get some message cards and then I'm gonna pop into the extended and we'll pull some archetype cards and we'll see what's going on. Um, archetype cards, we'll pull from some different message cards, romance angels, cause I do wanna see what's happening in love life. Um, and this could be love, but it could be very like, I don't know, maybe we're in a negotiation here. So let's see, heart to heart messages. What's coming through? I never wanted anything more than I want you. I have your picture on my phone and I look at it all the time. I can't wait to fall asleep in your arms. I wish I could be a better me for you. Um, yeah, so a little bit of stepping up to the plate. Please forgive me. My mind is full of you. So I do feel like if this is love related, you know, I do feel like um, it is this feeling of, okay, I'm somebody needing to come forward like with an apology, somebody needing to take some kind of action here, but I do feel like it's not you. It's not you. I feel like you're needing to um, be committed to whatever it is that you're working towards, you know? Whatever it is that you have on your mind, like, and I feel like something shows up for you when you think that it's not going to. When you think that it's not showing up, you think it's over, then it shows up. But it's like you almost have to kind of be willing to um, walk away and find better, you know? because that's available to you. So that's what I'm seeing. If you're interested in that extended, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into what might be showing up for you. So if you're interested in that, check the link in the description box and I will see you there.